Hello everyone, today we're going to be jumping back into Standard to see if we can lock our opponents out of the game with this Rakdos Arcane Bombardment deck. Now I think this deck is really cool and fun to play because it's really great at adapting to what decks our opponent has and then dealing with whatever the most relevant threat is permanently. So let's go through this starting at the low end of our mana curve. Uh, we've got Go For The Throat and Long Goodbye. Both of these are removal spells. Long Goodbye has the added benefit of not being able to be countered, which is really strong into tempo and control decks. Both of these spells are really to help us survive to the late game since we don't have many ways of ramping outside of treasure tokens. Um, from there, we do have Thrill of Possibility and Big Score, both as options for drawing cards off the top of our library, as well as discarding cards to get some of those big instant and sorceries that we want for Arcane Bombardment into our graveyard. Um, big Score has the added benefit of making treasure tokens and ramping us. And then we also have Hit the Motherload, which is really cool. Um, as a 7 mana spell, uh, when we cast it, we get to discover 10. And then if we find a card that's mana value is less than 10, we'll create a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to the difference. So this is also good ramp for us, and it can find either uh, of our two big spells that we're trying to get out onto the battlefield. I guess we can talk about these first. Uh, we go, we've gone ahead and included the Inner Sun for two reasons. First is it stops spells we control from being countered, so if we can resolve this, uh, we can make sure that we don't have to deal with counter spells from our opponent again, which can be very powerful um, into some control style decks. But also, at the beginning of our end step, we get to discover five. And we can actually chain this with Arcane Bombardment, so if we have this out on the battlefield first, and then we play an Arcane Bombardment, when we discover at the end of our turn, if we do cast that spell, we can start triggering Arcane Bombardment and getting our copies exiled and starting to be cast earlier than we would have been able to otherwise. So it, c it could be worth putting off playing our Arcane Bombardment in favor of getting this out onto the battlefield. Now next up is we have the cards that we really want to be exiled with Arcane Bombardment. Uh, maybe not Brotherhood's End, depending on the matchup, but let's go through them. So Witness the Future is a card that we're only really going to be able to cast off of Treasure Tokens or off of Arcane Bombardment, since we have no way of making blue mana in our mana base, but we did only include one copy. Um, we can discard it from our hand if we draw it using Big Score or Thrill of Possibility, though, which is a great way of getting it into the graveyard early. This is here just to keep us into the game, since we're pretty intensive with our card draw with all of our Big Scores and Thrills of Possibilities that we'll be getting off of Arcane Bombardment. Bombardment, this will stop us from decking ourselves, and if we can get that exiled with Arcane Bombardment, we won't be losing the game um, to due to mill. Next up, we've got Brotherhood's End, which is just help us stabilize against aggro decks, so uh, if any deck goes wide really quickly, starts making a bunch of tokens, maybe there's um, a artifact aggro deck, which is fairly popular in the meta right now, this is a great answer to that. We only have two copies, but that's because we have a lot more board wipes in our higher mana zones. Now, the end is the first of our um, oppressive spells in this deck, especially if we can get that exiled with Arcane Bombardment. The key to this is when we do exile um, a creature uh, we or Planeswalker, we get to search its controller's graveyard hand and library for any number of those cards and then remove them from the game. So once we deal with one of their threats of this type, it will never be coming back. Additionally, we have Devi uh, Deadly Cover-Up. Uh, which does a very similar thing. It functions normally as a board wipe, but then if we choose to collect evidence six, we can actually pick a card in our opponent's graveyard. This time it could be an instant, a sorcery, artifact, enchantment, or whatever it is that we want. And then we can do the same thing as the end where we remove that from our opponent's hand, library, and graveyard, which is a great way of permanently dealing with threats after we've dealt with it one time. As a fun additional benefit here, having Collect Evidence 6 will let us exile cards that we don't want to exile with Arcane Bombardment from our graveyard and help us really select the cards that end up underneath Arcane Bombardment. We also have two copies of Burn Down the House. It functions as a board wipe that'll hit Planeswalkers and those 311 red devil creature tokens can be really strong as blockers or attackers on an empty board if we've controlled our opponent out of the game. Last up is a single copy of Explosive Singularity. It is 10 mana, so we can actually hit this for our only 7 mana off Hit the Motherload. Um, but if we get this exiled with Arcane Bombardment, it deals 10 damage to any target, and this is just a great way to very quickly burst down our opponent's life total, especially if they themselves have enough removal spells to maybe deal with our 1-1s or 
to stop our creature lands, where we are including four copies of Restless Vents. It only costs three mana to animate these. And then when it attacks, we can actually discard a card and draw a card, which is another good way of getting some of those big spells we want into our graveyard while also damaging our opponent and kind of keeping our control of the board. Restless Vents has the added uh, bonus of not getting hit by a lot of our board wipes since it's going to be sitting as a land until we choose to activate it. The mana base is fairly straightforward. Uh, we did include a copy of Takanuma, even though it does nothing. It's just kind of there for fun um, instead of another swamp. Um, but Sokazan is actually pretty good in this deck since we can use this to make blockers and or to make creatures on an empty board uh, just so we can start putting some pressure on our opponent. But yeah, that's the deck. Deck list is down in the description if you want to copy it or make any changes for yourself. But if you guys have been enjoying my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on my latest content. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like. Let's go ahead and see how this deck does. All right, so we're going first here, but we can't keep this opening hand since we only have one land. This is gonna be much better. We'll go ahead, keep six, and I'm going to go ahead, body, uh, bottom our copy of Hit the Motherload, just because I'd rather have the spells that are closer to us being able to cast them. Start with our tap land. All right, so a little bit of life gain. Play out a mountain so we can hold up long goodbye. I don't think we need to worry about the minister here. Alright, yep. That's fine. Food token. Maybe they hit us for one. Maybe they want to gain the life. They hit us for one. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Pass the turn back. I do want to find one more land. And we can start using our copies of the end. Honestly, having four in or three in hand is pretty good. That should deal with a good chunk of what our opponent ends up playing. Sure. Gumdrop for using her. I honestly think we just kill this now, just in case we don't draw the land. But we do, so now we have the end that we can hold up. Deadly cover-up can also get rid of all the gumdrop poisoners. Alright, the veteran, sure. I'm okay with that. Okay, Gumdrop Poisoner. Let's use the end, hit the Luminarch Veteran. Alright. So they have Soren, they have Voice of the Blessed, both of those we can hit. Anything else in here? So there's one more Gumdrop Poisoner to deal with. Um, Amalia. Elias. Alright. I have a decent idea of what our opponent's threats are now. We'll play out Sokazan. This gives us deadly cover-up. Deadly cover-up will be actually a pretty clean way of dealing with our opponent's board. Gumdrop poison. Yeah. Take the one damage. You find Arcane Bombardment. I think we're gonna go Deadly Cover up here. Exile these two. Then we've got it, all right. <laughs> all right, so we're going first here. If we had a red land, this would be perfect to keep, but we don't, so I am gonna take the mulligan. This is gonna be fine. We'll keep bottom hit the mother load. Go ahead and start with the Restless Vents. Almost played the Haunted Ridge by mistake there. All right, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, basically, we want to get big score out as soon as possible. Our opponent's playing a similar deck to us. End the turn. Interesting. 
Interesting. Alright. So, opponent's stealing some of our cards. We find an Arcane Bombardment. That's gonna be really strong with uh, the big score that we can play. Okay, so they found one of our lands. Uh, let's draw these cards just for fun. Uh, we'll get rid of Hit the Motherlord. Alright. We're gonna play out this, because this will give us some extra value. Big score. Perfect. We'll discard the other one, since we already have one on the battlefield. And then next turn we can go Arcane Bombardment. And then we can actually use Witness the Future as well to trigger it, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Maybe... No, because they still have a Dragon in Exile. I want them to play the other one, so let's go Arcane Bombardment. Now let's go Witness the Future, pick ourselves, and we'll throw both of the big scores back into our library. We do grab one there. Let's uh, go ahead and throw the end into the graveyard, because that'll be a fun one to exile. We get to put one of these in our hand. I'm going to pick Thrill of Possibility. Discover 5 here. That goes in our hand as well. So now we can get another big score, um, and another card off Arcane Bombardment, using either Thrill or Long Goodbye, depending on what our opponent plays. Burn down the house? Sure. They get a treasure token. Let's do this now. I'm gonna go ahead and just discard a Swamp. We get Witness the Future. Picking us. Uh, four cards to throw back. I mean, we'll just throw those two back in. We'll cast this. Discard you. Draw two. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab Burn Down the House. Draw some more. They'll get a treasure token. Alright, let's go land. I'm gonna burn down the house here. We'll cast Hit the Mother Load. Witness the future. Targeting us. Uh, let's see. Go ahead, throw those two back in. I wanna keep the end. Big score. Discard our land. Actually, we'll just rediscard, um, the Inner Sun. Grab a copy of the end for ourselves. Discover 10. Um, yeah, let's get some extra treasure tokens. Just discard that. Wipe the board. We'll take 3 damage off the Devils. And we'll end the turn here. I will cast this. We'll make some devils of our own. And we have to discard three cards. I feel like... those, and then hit the mother load. Just cause that's fine if we exile that, that's gonna look good. Next turn we can go for another arcane bombardment, maybe. Start stacking value. Okay, that's fine. Breach the multiverse. They're not really gonna hit anything of ours. Atali. 
Let's see, they have more than one copy of Atali. They've got some Chandras. I think we just hit Atali with the end, but we'll wait and see what our opponent gets. Yep, make the three one ones probably. Go for the throat, hit one of ours. Sure. Ping. Then we're gonna use the end, hit Atali, get some extra value. Okay, so they do swing. I mean, we'll just block like this, kill the unblocked one. Yep. So we hit there, and then hit face. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why our opponent would do that. We have to be a little bit careful about our life total, since it's low. Let's hit Atali with the end. Alright, we'll go Witness the Future on us. Shuffling back in Go for the Throat, Brotherhood's End, uh, Thrill of Possibility, and a uh, Big Score. And we'll cast Hit the Motherload, and then we'll decline the other two. Thrill possibility, sure. We'll do that. Um, we're gonna discard... Deadly cover-up. We make a ton of treasures. Grab another arcane bombardment. Okay, so we pick that Italian in the graveyard. That one in the library. Let's see what else we have to worry about. One of Shieldred. We've got the dragon that they've got one of... Anything else, really? No, no. Brotherhood's End is good off against all of our treasures. One more copy of Burn Down the House, and Virtue of Persistence. That's fine. So let's move to my turn. Go Arcane Bombardment. Arcane Bombardment. Mountain. End the turn. Go for the throat, which unfortunately doesn't do much. But we do have Thrill of Possibility. I'd like to see our opponent play something out. Alright, so... We're just gonna add some mana here. We don't need too much. I mean, ideally we'd crack them all for all of their mana's worth, but... I think we'll just go about halfway, because I'm not trying to cast too many spells this turn. That's fine, we can resolve. Alright, let's go Thrill of Possibility, get some extra value, uh, discard hit the Motherload. Exile a bunch of cards here. There we go, Explosive Singularity, so we'll kill our opponent next turn. Hit the mother load to get some tapped treasures. Why not? Big score. Discard one of our long goodbyes. And we've got it! Alright, going first here. This looks like a decent hand. We'll go ahead and keep. We have our arcane bombardment. We just want to keep drawing lands. Long goodbye is going to help us deal with any big threat in the early game, you know, something like a 3-3. <laughs> and then Brotherhood's End will wipe the board if we're up against a token deck. And then when all's said and done, if we are aggressive with the early game, we should be able to hit the 6 we need for Collect Evidence. I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a Swamp. Okay, opponent plays blue card, and there's a Ginger Brute. Alright. So this bodes really well for us in having Brotherhood's End. This is probably like an artifact aggro deck. We're definitely going to want to play aggressive early. So Long Goodbye is going to get used here. Yep. 
So we'll go ahead and hit that. We could wait and try in Brotherhood's End, but this can't be countered. Our opponent might be holding up counter spells. We'll see. All right, back in the hand. That's fine. Replay the Ginger Brew. More copies of Go for the Throat. Actually, feel pretty good about this. Nice. We'll just kill that guy. Not gonna take three extra damage. We do find another land. That's pretty good. Go for the throat, can't hit Ginger Brute. We can take one here. Prosperous Thief does get hit by Go for the throat. Yep, and that's fine. Ginger Brute. Okay, we're getting closer to six. I'm gonna wait. No need to hit the board here just yet, but Brotherhood's End will be really nice for us. Deadly cover-up as well. I'd like to see our opponent play out most of their hand. All right. So with one mana, I'm not really afraid of our opponent countering Brotherhood's End here. So I think we just play that out next turn. Yep. Three damage to everything. Two mana held up. This is gonna kill both of them. Perfect. Okay, Network Disruptor taps down one of our lands. That's fine. I'm gonna add red. Make them think about casting again in their main phase. Okay, pass. Restless Vents. I think I'm gonna go for the deadly cover-up here. We'll tap down, uh, two, four, six. Wipe the board, and then get rid of, I don't know, all the ginger brutes just because they have haste. This is also a great way to see what our opponent has in their hand and in their deck. If they have a counter spell, I imagine they'll use it. Yep. Interest. Bring the ending. All right. Not expecting that. But we do know our opponent runs counter spells now. Only one card in hand. I feel okay about throwing out Arcane Bombardment next turn. It probably won't be countered. So let's just go for it. Maybe our opponent does have another counter spell. But it seems like they don't. Now they do have Machine Over Matter. So they can bounce our Bombardment. Potentially. We definitely want to focus on keeping Bombardment out onto th on the battlefield. So if we can actually hit Deadly Cover-Up, I think that would be really cool. Okay. Yep, yeah, the Glyph is good. Big score is really great for us next turn, though. Yeah, so they just bounce it, that's fine. So I'm gonna use big score here. Because I do want to see if we can find a removal spell or something. Sulfurous Springs. Alright, we're, we're just gonna play this down again. If our opponent can bounce it again, they can bounce it again. Surveil, sure.
Disruptor taps down Bombardment for no reason. We'll take five here. I'm a little concerned about what they could get off of the Glyph, and whether or not that and their draw is going to be able to kill us. But let's go Deadly Cover-Up. We'll collect Evidence. Hit those two. Alright, bounced back to our hand. That's fine, because we still wipe the board. Maybe we'll normal cast it. Doesn't matter. So we wipe the board. And now the glyph triggers and we have our second board wipe. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just pay for that. Um, and then I think out of everything... There's one more Machine Over Matter in their deck, probably. I think we're just gonna get rid of all of their Glyphs. Let's see what they have that we'd be worried about. None of those have Haste. Fading Hope. Yeah, so just the two Ginger Brutes have Haste. The rest we should be able to control. So next turn we have Bombardment, then Thrill. Let's go Thrill, Discard, Exile at Random, Deadly Cover Up. Let's Exile hit the Mother Load, uh, and then go ahead and pull something else out of our opponent's deck. Honestly, Prosperous Thief, probably. Yep. Looks good. That's gonna make it harder and harder for them to draw something that could win them the game. Explosive Singularity is insane for us. Long Goodbye is also gonna be really good. Let's go animate this. If they have a bounce spell, that's fine. Sure, Fading Hope. I would have liked to discard the Explosive Singularity, but that's fine. We still have Long Goodbye. Alright. Second Bombardment. I do want to play that out. Ginger Brute. I mean, we're entering Concede territory for our opponent. Because we go ahead, kill that, get some extra value. Sure. Thrill of Possibility. We're going to discard Explosive Singularity. Draw two cards. We get two copies of the end. Explosive Singularity. Uh, it doesn't matter. We don't need to cast that. So there's 10 damage. We'll go ahead, animate both of these. We're gonna attack, so that way the next instant or sorcery spell we cast, um, is going to end the game. We didn't keep Witness the Future because we don't have treasure tokens. Um, and then I think we just go the end, pick our own creature because that gives us explosive singularity. Uh, we don't need either of those. And we just need that. Hit our opponent for 10. Don't need those. And we've got it. Anything to us more than once. And especially if we're playing up against creature decks, there's almost no chance of them stabilizing and having a board uh, that's going to be able to beat us. Now we do still have to be cautious about aggro decks that kind of come in underneath us since we do have to ramp a lot to get up to arcane bombardment but that is why we have spells like brotherhood's end and why burn down the house and deadly cover up are so valuable as board wipes um and the one of copy of explosive singularity is definitely worth it in this deck um plus paired with hit the mother load we might actually be able to cast this from our hand for 10 damage as well so this is kind of our big finisher and the fastest way to close out the game uh, if we do have to, though, we have burned down the house. We can slowly make 1-1 tokens and beat our opponents down that way. And we also have 
our restless vents like we were able to see in that last game dealing the uh four damage we needed to get into range with explosive singularity and then of course acting as creatures that we could target with our own removal spells to get our cast triggered to make arcane bombardment work so this deck is really cool. Another fun thing that's worth noting is since we don't have any creatures in this deck, aside from, of course, our tokens via Burn Down the House and our Restless Vents, a lot of decks that are running cards like Long Goodbye, like Go for the Throat, um, like Cut Down, those cards are all going to be absolutely useless. I mean, we were able to see in our previous game, our opponent had four copies of Fading Hope in their deck, and Fading Hope was really only ever going to be able to target either Restless Vents or one of our tokens here. So that's kind of just a useless card slot in our opponent's deck since we built without creatures, and that's another fun thing to consider. Um, when we're playing this deck, we're already making some of our opponent's cards obsolete. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any ideas for another deck that you'd like to see me play, why don't you let me know in a comment down below. I'll see you all next time.